suppose if you had scales, that would imply that he was actually weighing it out to sell it, and it wasn't for personal use. First of all, the solicitors have secured a deal with the the Anderson land, and they were going to the solicitors ready to go and be ready to go. So, people, YouTube, and welcome back. I'm just up to Trun to pick up my granddaughter. Um, we're just having Lexus down, so I probably would have been out on the bike at this moment in time, but I had to come up here and get the get the granddaughter. So plan is to head back home, possibly go out on the bike. Although yeah, the sun's sun's fading a little bit. It's probably got about another three hours light maybe. So it doesn't give me much time. But uh, possibly want to maybe head out for at least a spin or something. Um, I had a little bit of bike issue. It's not really the bike, it's probably me just fiddling about. I installed a chain catcher, which upset the front derailleur a little bit and I ended up, I don't know what I was doing, but I just wasn't really getting close to where I needed to be. Um, but finally got that work, and then the rear mech for some reason was kind of like the bottom gear or the lowest gear wasn't engaging for some reason but I got that to work last night so it should be all hunky dory uh, but it's quite annoying, it's quite a few hours I spent trying to get it to work but yeah just heading back, just about to get the train back into here so a couple of days with the daughter my granddaughter. Um, I don't know what the weather's. It's actually it's, it's dry today. I mean the sun's out. It actually feels pretty good. Bit of a uh, bit of cloud, and it's. I wouldn't say it's. It's not cold, but it's not warm. There's a little bit of chill in there, but I'll wait till I get home. See what happens. I actually played my my TGC tours, uh, Corn Ferry tour round. This morning, shot eight under, which was not bad. Really, I would have liked double digits, but um, didn't happen. But happy in a way, eight under. Cut line is 15 under, so we need to shoot seven under par or better uh, to get that 15 under, which is possible. I mean, we shot eight under par, so there's no way that we can't shoot better. Of course, it's playing easy, but. Well, I'll wait and see. I'll play that probably later tonight, maybe around about dinner time. So, see what happens. Anyway, just a quick update. So, heading for the train, getting back to here, and then we'll go for there. I might go out on my bike, I might even go out at night maybe. Spin around the streets, I don't know. Got a couple of options open. Anyway, catch you later. Bye. Ah, it's got it's got a limit it goes to. to head out for a bike ride tonight but I'm not feeling it man um, I thought I'd maybe try and get a path that was kind of decent light but there's nothing really exists you know that's like pretty decent and I can't 
the thing is, I can't even really get like a, a decent speed. I'm not getting heat in me because it is kind of a wee bit chilly. You can see the moon, a couple of clouds, but it's not like it's not like really too bad. It's a bike there flashing away, but yeah, I'm just not. I think I'm probably just gonna head home actually. Um, because I had that trouble with the gears, I just wanted to get out and see if the gears were shifting. It, everything seems uh, fine and dandy in the gear front. But I'm just not feeling it out here. It's like, I just don't, I don't particularly like cycling at night. You know, if there's a dedicated path that was well illuminated, some of the, some of the street lights, I just, they, they don't cut the mustard. So, it's kind of dangerous because you, you don't see any like, road traffic in front of you, like little steps. Or, you've, got to, you've got to really know the road. So, I kind of tested the bike. I think I'm just going to head home. I'm going to call it quits. Probably head out maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, get something done. Uh, you know, I just don't feel it. You know, the roads are just too dangerous. That little tab sticking out in my back light, I need to get it facing either this way or that way. I think I can only go this way because it's hitting my, my leg. But yeah, I just don't feel it. It's like, it, it's just... It's not that it's... I mean, it is kind of dangerous, especially when you get out. When you're on, on the actual, like... The kind of main roads, it's, it's not too bad, but even then, you still get dark areas. And it, it just, I could do like a, a, a stronger beam from the front, front of my bike that flashes down in front of me so I can see potholes. So I'm probably actually just going to head home. I thought I'd go out, give it a spin. I mean, it's probably t taking me longer to get ready than it is the actual ride. I've probably been out for a bit, probably actually about 20 minutes, but um, nah, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. I just feel... You know that way you just don't feel like really like 100% safe. Um, and I'm not really getting, I'm not able to put down power and get a decent uh, amount of speed on because it's just, it's just dangerous. You, you, you hit a pothole, uh, you know, God knows what can happen. So I think I'm just going to head home. Uh, I'll probably upload the videos that I've taken like today because I took, I took other stuff, other videos. So I'll probably head home and... Go from there. I was actually quite lucky. My, my GoPro at the front was actually hanging loose. I hadn't screwed it in up here, which was quite bad. Um, but yeah, the, as I said, I had a little issue with the gears. I just, I was kind of tweaking them a little bit, and I just ended up getting out that that ballpark area. But I've gotten back in. They're, 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 they're shifting well. Chain catchers on. That was really what caused the, the, the start of the problems, but. Yeah, I think I'll just head home. It's just not, you know, I'm not feeling it. There's actually meant to be a Pokemon Go raid here. Yeah, I still play Pokemon Go, um, but I don't see any, anybody, so uh, I'm probably going to head off. As I say, I'm just going to head home, I think. It's just too, it's too risky. I mean, cycling at night's okay. Um, if you stick to a certain route that's well, you know, it's got decent kind of lights on it. But other than that, it's just, it's too sketchy. I just don't. I don't feel it really, to be honest. I just think it's too. Let's say it's too dangerous, but it's. It's it, it it's just it's just too risky. I think. Anyway, I'm gonna head home. Catch you later. Bye.
process. about a bike, you do feel quite small, especially when you get away from like this kind of thing, which is a cycle path. When you get away from that, it's, it's scary. Last night, I went out for a bit of a, a nighttime cycle, but I only did about two miles. I basically went out down the shore and then back. Again, I just didn't really feel comfortable because I've got the, the torch I've got. The back one's good, obviously, you really don't need it as much, but the front one's just a, it's not a big beam. And it's quite, you really don't have much visibility. Uh, enough to be seen by the traffic, but for actually 
highlighting potholes and stuff. It uh, uh, doesn't happen. Right, I'm going to do this whole descent, so catch you later. Stuff. Yeah, I'm not bad, hit yourself. Hello people YouTube. Uh, welcome back. We need to get my camera. So I've got to remember my that's it. Uh yeah, back out on the bike. It is you look at my watch. So I actually just come to half twelve. On the 8th of November, Friday. I keep thinking this is a Saturday. It's kind of weird because I was off my work like Thursday, Friday, but it feels it feels like a like a Saturday, Sunday, dash, Friday, Saturday kind of feeling. Um, so, nope, oh, trying to get my, my thumbs coming in the, the shot. So, I was out, I'll kind of re recap on, I went out last night. My intention was to go out and kind of try and get some miles under the belt. Yeah. <coughs> oh, God, that's a bit funny. Um, but really didn't get, really didn't manage to do it. Because um, I've got a, a light for my, my bike, but it's it's not the best. Uh, it doesn't really illuminate in front of you. So you can't see the potholes. You can't see really where you're, you're going to be going. And I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel really safe. So I only did about two miles, two and a half miles. So I just came back, but it was good because I got to test my my uh, my gear changing. Because remember that I was tweaking, I was tweaking my gears, and I kind of ended up you know, kind of long road for a shortcut. But I eventually got them changing. So some dogs kind of fighting there. Um, so I kind of checked that, and it, it was shifting perfect. So, I came out today, I was a bit late in getting out. Um, I think I maybe left the house 11-ish, half 11 maybe. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. My intention was to do quite a big cycle. I could probably still do a big cycle, but I'm trying to really work out where I want to go. And I'm just not, I'm not 100% sure. I went out, didn't fit by... Um, Green and Castle, then I was going to head down towards either Carrick Hills, but I don't think I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm conditioned enough for uh, for doing the Carrick Hills yet. And then I was going to go down, heading towards Dunoon and the Electric Bray, but again, I just don't think I'm, I just don't think I've really got that stamina in my legs yet. 
I think I'd rather stick to what like, air, because when you go out of the town, it's like it's hard to actually explain, but it, it's like you know when you're in like cycle paths and then like this area, you feel you feel okay, but when you go out in the roads, you you shrink down to this very small, vulnerable kind of person and machinery, and I think just that I I don't know I just feel a little bit apprehensive so I really just don't want to I, I probably will do the, that that road and roads are that that like at some point but I don't know I'm just a little bit I would say probably scared as well so I'm trying to think now where I really want to go uh, just to kind of rack up miles. I think I've did like six miles so far, I think. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So I don't know to maybe head back that way and maybe, I don't know, try and get a whoop or something. I don't know. What the hell was that? That sounded quite unusual. That's a bit so peaceful here. I've got the sun hitting me. I'm getting a nice heat in me. Um, ducks are out, swans seagulls pigeons crows there's a bit of everything here I should actually bring some but it's not really see birds don't really eat bread i think they probably eat i don't know like those fat balls you get probably something like that but yeah there are a lot of people out in their bikes it's a real beautiful day so peaceful So comfy. Yeah, so I mean that whole chain chain catcher element on the bike just oh it, it just blew up my face. You know, the, the, the front derailleur was a was a bit of a bit of an issue. Um in hindsight, maybe looking at how it was hanging before I took it off, which I kinda did, but you know, it's one of those things you, you, you sometimes you I don't know, you you do look at something but you don't. So I had a lot of issue with that, and then the, the back wasn't changing, it's crisp. Everyone seems to be hunky-dory now, so we're kind of back to where we were. Uh, I don't know, I probably need to get... I've got my GoPro, in fact my GoPro was on the other night, and the, the screw was loose. And I stopped, and when I looked at it, it was kind of wobbling a, a, a little bit, so that was quite a close one. But, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to get more done. As I say, yesterday I ended up, I think I've probably got some video. I went to get my granddaughter to bring her down for a couple of days. Um, then I went to town at the moment. Um, so I thought I would head out my bike. As I say, I really wanted to get some miles under my belt. I'm doing that whip out, down to heading towards Colleen Castle. Would have been good. Uh, they got uh, they got the numbers up, mile wise. But uh, I'm that kind of way at the moment where I'm I'm quite happy, just sticking to a route that I'm comfortable with. Um, I might even start taking my cyclocross bike back out because that's gonna be a little bit easier on the, with the the bigger tires. That might be a, a, a plan. But this bike's fantastic. It just. It's so smooth in the roads. Um, it can get a little bit bumpy, but you know it's really good. Not had any issues, well, apart from me tinkering with the, the gearing and stuff. But that was that's just me. Uh, but it's such a gorgeous day here. It's just there's hardly a breath of wind. I mean. You can hear, you can hear a little bit, but it's just so quiet. In fact, you can, I don't know if you can actually see that. There's a, I think that's a, a wind turbine ship that's out there. I think that weighs the turbines out at sea. Yeah, that's sitting out in the bay. It's been there a couple of days, or even a week, probably even more than that. But uh, yeah, I really don't know what I'm going to do next.
But yeah, the new bike, the reason I got the new bike, really it was a, it was a combination of the, the price point it was just too good. You know, the components in the bike, the wheel set, the wheel set's actually quite expensive. The the group set's expensive. The DI2 group set has got like a, like a, an amount on it. The wheel set's got an amount on it. When you combine those two together, you're really getting the bike for not much. And it just really made sense. It was like a... I mean, if you, if you add the components together, it's like, even just for the wheels and the grip set, you probably would be, be, be a decent buy. But yeah, really happy with it. I just wish... I would love to have like a, a, just a, an ultra-smooth road. You know the, that kind of road that you get on? There's no potholes. It's just that smooth tarmac, and it's like, oh, it's a like butter smooth. If I if I could almost cycle on that, and any road that I was on, it just like, it was almost like it came with me. I'd be so much. Oh my, it'd be so easier. So so much easier. But the roads are so, especially with the the roads heading out there to Denure, the the kind of old fashioned roads where they're quite. You know, they've got a lot of texture, almost a bit like that. But they've got the kind of, almost like a gravelly type affair. And you, you feel it, and you don't have a, a good uh, uh, bro, blah, blah, rolling resistance. <coughs> I've actually got a neck thing on. It's kind of, I wouldn't say it was choking me a little bit, but um, it's kind of tight. But I really don't know. I, I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of want to do more, but... <sighs> but I don't know. But I'm, I'm enjoying the vlogs. I think, I'm, I think I'm getting to a stage now where... I feel that I'm able to kind of put together the vlog really easy. And getting footage is, is fairly easy. And even doing like these, these parts where maybe I talk for like maybe 10 minutes. Um kind of get the timing and stuff I want to say. I mean, this was just ad lib. I just sort of put the camera on. I actually, mean, there's a guy here. I think he cycled down from Trun. Um, he was having a coffee and a sandwich. But he was on like a, a, a mountain bike. I think he had a, a dual suspension. Or about as a hardtail, sus well, not hardtail, but a, a rear suspension. I think it had front suspension in it as well. And it looked really comfy. You know, it looked like a really nice, nice ride. Um... But you can get up those trails a little bit easier than, than, than what I can in this. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted my, my cyclocross bike. To kind of have a bike that I could do stuff a little bit different. Uh, like up the river and that. Probably, I should, probably should have done that today, to be honest. To get a little bit uh, yeah, different outlook. I'm not saying I'm getting bored of doing this look, but I, I, I'm kind of... I think I'm getting too, like, this is it, and I can't deviate from it. Although I'm kind of deviated t uh, today. Well, the plan was to deviate, but I, I just don't... I don't really feel it. Oh, I'm just taking that. That, that silence is golden. Anyway, I'm going to head off. I'm kind of... I'm kind of yapping on here. I've actually went uh, long screen for my, my video. Because I know that portrait doesn't cut the mustard, as they say. But yeah, this will be for probably vlog number nine. So I'm actually getting the, the numbers out in the vlog. Uh, but I'm just going to rest here. I'm probably going to have a little bit of a, a little protein bar I've got. And I'm probably going to think where I'm going to head. But anyway, catch us later. There's the uh, edit thumb. So, see you soon. Take care. Bye.